All right, so what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna prepare our rabbit loins. Um, so we give both pieces, so the full on loin, uh, really simple, just a little salt, pepper, um, and then we're gonna go onto a flat top. Using the flat top kind of gives a nice caramelization on it rather than grilling it and getting that kind of carbon uh, burnt kind of weird flavor. Um, so just some nice olive oil, some nice salt, nice pepper. It's all about the products. And you don't want it to be too hot, otherwise you're gonna burn it. This will probably take about three minutes because you want the loin to be a nice kind of medium. Uh, so nice kind of pink in the middle still, uh, no blood running out, um, nice and juicy. When you're cooking rabbit, uh, unless it's like legs, like we braise and cook for a long time, all the other parts you want to retain that moisture, medium's okay, um, medium rare's okay. I wouldn't go rare, but it's, it, if you cook it too much, it's gonna dry out because the fat content's so low with it. That being said, we're gonna just kind of check it and we're looking for that nice deep caramelization. And so while that's working uh, with this dish, what we like to do is we like to think of like what rabbits would eat. So we have some parsnip puree uh, that we're warming up and then we have some pickled celery that we've made and we're gonna do some mustard seed with it, some confit artichokes and some buttermilk. Um, so about at this time, when you start to see the color changing up on the loin, we are going to add just a little bit more fat. And turn it over. So that was about a minute and a half, another minute, two minutes on the other side. Um, then we're gonna let it rest. Resting is very important. If you slice right away, then all that time and effort that you put into a, a product is just all gone on a piece of paper towel. So when, when we're looking for the doneness, we want to be slightly soft to touch. And if you're measuring with a thermometer, what we like to use are a little cake testers. This is classic French, um, but you just want to stick it in and you let it sit for a second and you're just making sure it's not a cold inside. And that's about 200, 210 degrees. It should burn your lips slightly. We are where we want them. So we are going to have that resting game now. So let it rest. Uh, it's typical to let it rest for, I think it's a minute for every pound. So we're gonna let it rest for like 30 seconds. It'll retain all that heat um, and it's gonna retain all the moisture, which is the very important thing that we're doing. What we like to do is kind of get the plate a little ready before we slice. So we have our delicious parsnip puree. This is really easy. We take water, onions, garlic, and parsnips. Try not to uh, mess with good flavor too much. And we're gonna dress the plate. Then we will slice our rabbit and we are hopefully nice and juicy. We're gonna cut it a couple of different ways for plating aesthetics. And then we have this lovely farm that grows all these edible flowers for us that we like to use year round. So once we slice, we don't really want any leakage on the plate so you know we go to a towel again and then it's pretty much a free form kind of where you feel that the rabbit should go 
as far as how we desire our plating, um, we have some lovely comb feed artichokes that we conserve, so we put them in jars. We like to use mason jars a lot here. Um, it adds to the flavor. And then we have some lovely mustard seed that we'll pickle and just kind of drape it on the rabbit as well. Uh, this will add a nice sweetness and balance to the dish. We also have some pickled celery that just makes sense because it's rabbit. And we'll do a different couple of different knife cuts on that as well. And then we have our flowers and foraged herbs like I was talking about earlier that will accompany as well. So it's, it's all about building the flavors and that's why we don't go too overboard with the seasoning and adding to other things as we're cooking. And then we'll give it a nice generous black pepper. And then we have buttermilk that we fortify this with pickled ramp juice and coriander and then we aerate it with a stabilizer. So there we have the finished product of seared rabbit loin with accompaniments. And this is one of our top sellers we got going on.